So for this build, I'm going to use 10 millimeters screw, which is flat head, and I'm also going to use hexagonal nuts, which is 4 millimeters in diameter and 1.5 millimeters in thickness, and also some washers, which I will explain later where I'm going to use it. So this washer is 6 millimeters in diameter and I guess. 0.5 millimeters in thickness <clears throat> all right guys welcome to my youtube channel and for this video i'm going to share with you the homemade mini grinder that i use for my mini four wheel drive tamiya so basically what you're gonna need is first the base for the grinder so for this thing, I use a plastic lid, plastic lid that I got from jars. So you can find this on perhaps uh, products from grocery store that comes with plastic jars like this thing that I use for containing the other stuff that I use. So for the sandpaper, I use sodium carbide, uh, I mean silicone carbide 80 grit sandpaper. So the reason why I use uh, silicone carbide 80 grit sandpaper is it is good for sanding off a lot of excess parts like aluminum, metal, plastic, wood, and also rubber. Uh, it is very rough which makes it easier for grinding stuff but I cannot guarantee you that you can also use this for smoothing out surfaces so this will be the main attention for this build so for this thing I use 72 millimeter hollow shaft uh, yeah, wheel shaft that I got from Super XX chassis kit. And as you can see that this blue thing here, see it is the same, right? It is same in diameter as well. So in order to build this thing, I use this small diameter uh, small diameter mags which is 20 millimeters in diameter 20 millimeters in diameter and this blue circle thing is around 30 millimeters in diameter which will be the block so the way I put it together is like this so this will be the first thing then I'm gonna insert the 10 millimeter screw flathead screw on these three holes that you can see I hope you can see it there's a three holes in it so I'm gonna insert the 10 millimeters uh, flathead screw and then once it is inserted I'm gonna insert this uh, grinder base through the screw heads to the screw just like that and then swat it and then once it is in place I'm going to use this blue plastic to support it so it won't come up it won't come out once I am grinding something and then I will lock it with the hexagonal nuts with washers and then tighten tighten it out tighten it up so it won't come loose okay And also I use some super glue and baking soda powder to reinforce the joint of this mags and this plastic base so I am sure that it won't come off or 
dismantled or disassembled and I also put some super glue on the uh, mags and the wheel shaft so it won't rotate it won't come off it won't come off and in order to lock it in place just like that so in order to lock it in place which I will show you later so you see that once it is inserted to the chassis there's nothing that supports this side so once it is spinning there's a chance that it can fly off which is dangerous and you also don't want that to happen so I use this small thing I hope you guys can see it yep so that is a plastic material that I got from salvaging this uh, cartridge from a ballpoint pen so you can get this from any ballpoint pen so the diameter of this ballpoint pen cartridge is very small and it can fit to the 72 millimeter hollow shaft wheel shaft just like that tight fit so once you are grinding something and it is rotating really really fast it won't come off see it won't come off now for the motor that I use so this motor comes from an imitation kit of Tamiya the brand is Dazing and I will put the product on the description below now if you live in Philippines you can check it on Shopee app so this motor runs at 31,000 rotations per minute which is fast so the reason why it is fast is because it is a copy and it's not original so they use thicker wires and stronger magnets to make it fast okay so the battery that I use for this project is a rechargeable battery so here's the battery that I use this battery is made from China see it's EBL 2800 milliamperes milliamp per hour it is 1.2 volts so I use one pair of these wire, uh, battery I will also put the link down in the description box so you can so you guys can check it out but if you don't live here in the Philippines well I don't know what product suggest to suggest you hmm. so now that we have that I have already explained to you the materials that you need I'm going to proceed to assembling it so as I showed you earlier from the introduction I use six pieces of washers three pieces of flat screw head which is 10 millimeters and three hexagonal nuts so the first thing I'm gonna do is to put washers inside these holes see just like that I put the washers inside so the reason why I put the washers is that it is uh, the base is plastic so if you put if you put too much force on tightening the screw and the nuts together there's a chance that the head of the flat screw uh, damage the plastic and go goes uh, it can go to the the other side which you don't want it to happen because that will give you a lot of trouble it happened once so that's the reason why I use this washers now so it's kind of hard to put but you just need to have patience 
see it's not that easy at all so I'm just gonna pause this video and I'll be back once I have put those washers in place so now as you can see I put the washers on the right place I just have to adjust it so it matches the hole just like that you can adjust it with yeah, a tip of your pen so once I've inserted the washers I'm going to next insert the screws and once I've already inserted the screws I'll be back all right I'll just pause the video for now so now as you can see the screws are poking out of the base so I put all the screws uh, I've inserted all the screws inside the hole so the next thing we're gonna do is to put this thing now so again I'm going to pause this video and show it to you guys once I'm done so now that it is <clears throat> fixed see there's still some screws poking out from the base so in order to uh, put it together I just screw it like that hope you can see it I just screw it like that you can also expand the holes of this plastic uh, lid or this base in order for you to easily uh, put the screws you just have to push it just push it like that and it will uh, extend so now that I'm done uh, putting the grinder base and the base together I'm just gonna put the lock see you just have to push it like that but if it but as you can see not all the flat head screws are sticking out you just have to push it see I push it for example this one it is not it is not poking out like that it is not poking out see just have to push it like that so now this is, it is poking out so once we're done with that I'm gonna put the washers see we still have three remaining washers also gonna use here just gonna put it like that So the nuts, the hexagonal nuts will help to lock it in place. So in order that it is so in order to make sure that the lock is tight, you have to use long nose. You have to use long nose and uh, just have to grip the hexagonal knot like that and use this uh, screwdriver to go against the knot which is the normal rotation just have to tighten it out like so so you just have to repeat the same process to the other two two other screws just like that
so now that I'm done assembling the grinder base and I have tightened down all the screws so it won't come out <clears throat> so this will be the continuation of the video so now that we are done assembling the grinder base it is time for us to proceed to the chassis so I'm going to put this motor inside this thing I'm going to put on this motor inside the chassis so I'm just going to disassemble it so one of the advantage of using Super XX chassis is you can easily remove the motor from the chassis by removing this cover so this is the base of the motor it also comes with the terminal so you can put it like that see just snap it in place like that so I'm just gonna put it in and put the cover so for you guys to better understand the gears that I use in this uh, build I use 3.5 to 1 gear ratio so the reason why I choose 3.5 is to 1 ratio is because it is uh, the fastest gear ratio I just remove the lock and slide the wheel shaft inside this uh, spore gear just like that you can also use this grinder for other stuff like I guess uh, carving woods or smoothing things out but most Tami erasers they really need this for pro stock since in, sp in pro stock uh, it is strictly prohibited that there's a screw uh, that is excess screw on the bumper where you put the double plastic rollers or any type of roller for example this one here so this is a shining scorpion premium so I use double plastic roller in this build see so the original screw of this uh, double plastic roller is hanging out of of the chassis so if it is like that uh, you will be disqualified that's why you have to grind it down so it won't uh, came out just to you just need to remove the excess screw you have to remove the excess screw so it won't come out so now that we are done assembling the grinder let's test it so for this I'm going to use the chargeable battery that I showed you uh, earlier EBL I will also put the product link on the description so you guys can check it out but if you live in states or outside the Philippines I guess you can also find this on Amazon so let's turn it on so it is very loud and there's no problem at all if it's loud so I'm just gonna 
look for something to test it on so I'm going to use the tip of this compass since it is very sharp and it can be very dangerous it can it doesn't want to focus come on focus So yeah, that's the tip of the compass. So I'm just gonna go and trim it off to remove the pointy part of it. Okay. You can see it is sparking. So I hope you guys can see how it works. It is sparking. So now, see the tip of the compass is smoothened. The sharp part is removed. So that's it. I hope you learned something from this video. And feel free to copy the idea. And I hope you guys liked it. So if you like this video, don't forget to click that subscribe button and you can also leave a comment and perhaps like this video. So that's it. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.